वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज सैम आई ब्लिंग स्टार फील्ड तो अभी हम लोगों में बहुत कॉन्फिडेंस आ गया अभी किसी से भी फाइट ले सकते हैं लेवल थर्टी फाइव का फोन है स्पेसशिप हो रहा है ना उसके बाद तो मेरा कॉन्फिडेंस एकदम आसमान छू रहा है अभी Early reports say your mission on the Siren was a success. I'm sure the commander is pleased. Howdy. Pardon. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume. Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. I'm taking care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbanks computers. Let me see what you got. So the legacy went down at Banik Four. Four. Why does that sound familiar, Doc? Banik Four is an EM class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that can safely get near that type of world. Sounds like you admire that lunatic. Call it whatever you like. It doesn't change the fact that Delgado was still a murderer. Your best buddy has killed every single one of our previous informants. That's enough, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No. You shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the conspec. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Banet Four. My superiors are stubborn. They aren't going to authorize an attack on the key based on my flights of fancy. We need more evidence that all the Crimson Fleet's plans were resulting in them actually getting their hands on this fabled cache of credits. I don't see the point. The Crimson Fleet apparently has a pipeline of information flowing from somewhere within the UC military. Any attempt to move the comm spike would be a waste of time. We need to play this close to the best. Perfect. Just stick with the plan, and we'll see who gets to Chris's legacy first. Joined any division in UC Navy. I shall assist him. Once we get rid of all the pirates, the galaxy will be a better place. I don't think that looks like. Okay, hello. Know. Wherever the Crimson Fleet go, we'll follow. I don't doubt on you.
Big Core has already finished the pre-flight check. Nice. Nice one, bro. Before going to the key, I think I should do some missions. This is my... Nothing increases it. I think I have to change it or something. Fire rate is low on this one. I think I will talk to this Stop one. Right there. You see secured. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property you have on you. One hour of harassment later. You run a tight ship, you're on Sedona. Anyone who steps out of line, the corner never can do it. Sergeant Booth there, your service. If you have a security related concern, bring it up to me. Much as someone's last name is a nickname, friends, acquaintances, and other locals call me Booth. You can call me Sergeant Booth. ये घबराना नहीं है मतलब कल राम मंदिर का उद्घाटन हुआ है और सिल्वर में अभी तक चल रहा है उसका खत्म नहीं हुआ है वही लोग बार बम पड़ रहे हैं पीपल और लैटिन क्रैकर्स well, it ain't drugs if that's what you're worried about. You'll notice it happens to miners and anyone else that's been down in the Red Martian dust too long. Nothing to worry about any more than anyone else around here. It used to be a sign someone was ready for the Red Devils. Some of the ex-Red Devils still think they're a big deal. They ain't as badass as they think they are. And any that do have a chip on their shoulder and cause trouble, a lot put them in their place. Not if I've got anything to say about it. For real though, I don't know if it's because everyone's too busy working, or if it's because of the military presence. The crime's pretty low. We get the occasional drunken brawls, petty thefts and stuff, but Sidonia ain't exactly a hotbed of crime. But not me and I. Be seeing you around. The UCs watch out for the robots. They're surprisingly sneaky.
these are the things I threw out Where is this place? Outside Tironia? साथ ही क्यों होता है भाई? ये तो मार्सी है। Creature we talked about before we went to Mira, the thing that eats terramorphs, the Asilis. Apparently, they were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the colony war, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction, but in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see. What we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, 
We could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. All our data suggests so. Asilis, they're impressive hunters. The few tests we've been able to run, well, they more than got the job done. They're also shockingly adaptable. The data suggests they're able to drive just about anywhere, and we plan to selectively breed them so they can hunt terramorphs wherever they're hiding. Which is important, because we did some cross-referencing in the terramorph data. On worlds where Asilis were present, Terramorphs weren't. This suggests that however it is Terramorphs are getting onto our worlds, Asilis are somehow cleaning that up as well. These creatures are good at what they do. I... I suppose that's a fair comparison. Except that this time, we'd be protecting human lives not ending them. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect, their transmission method. It would still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics so that they stick to the task of cleaning up terramorphs. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. So to say there's zero risk would be a lie. Well, that's still not 100%, but it sounds like the Vanguard will actually be picking up a fair bit of it. But there's no sense in hammering down those sorts of details before we've made a decision on which route we're taking. Well, so that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work, not to mention some highly specialized materials. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines, or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Lindinium. It's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Lontinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Lundinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. As they yeah. do. Right You see any safety violations? You come to me. This is not the place to let issues linger. It's 
safe here, right? Terror wolves give me the heat of genius. Lieutenant as a Vedu. I think this is the guy, right? Yeah. No, oh, this goddamn planet. You romanticize a place when you're away from it for long enough. But I forgot what a dust crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, but what do you need? It's come up on my performance evals. But I know the needs of this facility inside and out. So, everyone has to deal with it. Not that it should matter to you. I'm sorry. Who are you again? Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. It sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in the Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city, so, um, thank you for what you did there. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. Effectively useless human beings that would have no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, you'd hate to see anything happen to them. Now, what was it you needed? If anyone can pull off something as downright lunatic as that, it's these people. And I'll make sure they've got all the supplies they might need to make it a reality. That's correct. Ran logistics for the devils for years before getting the sun here. Military logistics isn't usually thrilling work, but as bone-crushing and exhausting as this job could be, it sure as hell was never dull. Coordinating habitats for nightmares from the far side of Lantana 8B and their favorite breathing snack foods? Sure, why not? Stocking the UC for a rancher who's got 2,000 grade 8 kilos of biomass he can ship to Mars per week? We call days like that Tuesday. So when I heard things might be opening up again, I put in for my transfer immediately. The only easy day was yesterday. Don't worry. I'll handle the paperwork. Here, what new gear, man? 
Can't do the job without the no more or not. Nineteen thousand three hundred. Wait, what am I wearing? I think we are good. One sixteen physical I have on this one, and uh, you feel a small plant. Everything up to he has hundred nine highest. I have one sixteen. So I don't need to buy this. Okay, let's go for Londonian, Londonian. Orange green. on my own ah uh, yeah I have killed
let's make change to the outfit where the treatment is written over there only you can use that one to cure that particular problem but uh, I don't think this will be solved by this excuse me you match our description the Van Gogh captain the cabinet wanted you to have something Make sure you have the best tools for the task at hand. Now, if you'll excuse me. Crippled now. What the fuck? I don't have anything for that. to restore my health. I want something that can Don't need to worry about me, I'll be alright. 
Now, are we doing this or not? Okay, let's go this way. I have time. And let's get this show on the road. Percival, everything green on your ends? I am ready. Personal comms should be running through Kaiser now. You copy that? Perhaps too loud. Oh, you're a riot robot. Kaiser, kick it off. Unlock code transmitted. You may open the gate to I'm ready. Alright. On our way into the city. Percival, where are we heading? <laughs> Running the first sweep. Got one. The city's. Not far. Old shipping yard just past the processing plant. Chief samples are probably in one of the containers.
there's a tab off back there. Take this weapon, man. I always preferred.
तो यहाँ से हम लोग स्टार्ट करेंगे इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो थैंक यू गैस फॉर वाचिंग स्टेट यून फॉर मोर एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब सो वी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हियर इन द नेक्स्ट वन सो अंटिल देन स्टेट यून एंड आई गुड डे गैस
Okay, we'll talk to Sam and then start the mission. So bye guys. See you soon. Have a good day. Take care. We'll see you soon. In the next one.